गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग नव्या okay so today we have uh, four speakers navya then we have uh, sanvi sanvi is there and then we have yusra and madhya sanvi are you there you are online so i will request all of you please switch on your camera just like navya has done keep your camera on so that i can see all of you yes now i can see sanvi also i can see yusra and madiha and i can see navya fine so without wasting much time we will start you all know that we have the theme today school assembly which is very important and which all of us we have experienced right since our play school or nursery every day we go to school we yes, are sir. we are part of uh, school assembly and then we uh, go to our classrooms i have also sent you five questions now uh, the serial number which i have put 1 2 3 4 5 that is a serial number in which i have sent there but uh today when you will give me a number you may get something different because these numbers and my serial numbers are different so who will start first i will just tell you the first speaker today is going to be madiha second speaker is going to be navya third is uh, sanvi and the fourth one is yusra right this is going to be the uh, serial so i will request our first speaker uh, and she is madiha to give me a number between 1 to 5 the rules are clear to you you will get 1 minute to think and then you can speak for maximum 4 minutes so madiha give me a number out of sir i want to choose 3 you want to choose number 3 now let me see what is the actual number 3 the actual number 3 is how can we make our school assembly better right hum kaise apne school ki assembly ko which happens in the morning usko aur badhiya kar sakte hain okay sir so think for one minute think different points which you can use to uh, make your school assembly better and then you can speak for 4 minutes Sir, may I speak now? Yes, Madhya, you can start. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Madhya. I study in Class Fifth in the Jabra School of Innovation, and now I am going to tell you how can we make our school assembly better. The first point is the uh, the first point to make our school assembly better is that we have, first we have to be very pen, punctual. If we will not punctual in our school assembly, then our school assembly will started. And when we came in our school, then we will so we will see that this assembly has started. So we should be okay. very very punctual. and the second point uh, in our school assembly how can we make better then that is 
we have to maintain all rules and regulation uh, is like we will not maintain a uh, rule and regulation then we will not know that how we have to uh, learn in a school how which uh, uh, which prayer we have to say how we should stand properly if we will go uh, if we will go somewhere and then they will show our personalities our speaking style how we stand in our assembly then that will uh, so we have to maintain rule if we don't we if we not if we don't uh, understand rules and regulation then we will not able to yes, and we will not able to speak our uh, all all prayers which happen in our school assembly and the third point is that we have to speak in our school assembly uh, or uh, we have to speak in our school assembly if we will not speak in our assembly then we will not know that which thing is happening and if we are new kid and we don't know that which is uh, we don't know that in this school which assembly is happened then uh, we, that is not that if i don't know then i will not speak and i will not hear if you don't uh, if you don't know how to speak then you have to listen a good listener can be a good speaker so always listen uh, if you don't know something and the uh, and the next thing is that uh, the next thing is that uh, as usually in uh, india's every school in india's every school national anthem happens then in national anthem we have to stand properly and we and we should and we have to finish our national anthem in 52 seconds because this is the rule that we have to uh, that we have to finish our national anthem uh, in uh, 52 seconds and we have to stand very straightly confidently and we have to speak our national anthem we have to sing in very polite way and very good way uh, and uh, the next thing is that in assembly there is a row in every row uh, every child is, uh, in every row uh, uh, 10 kids 15 kids in each row and then in that row somebody in in that row some kids started pushing everyone that and some kids kids started fighting that i will stand in first i will stand in last so, uh, so we should not do these things if we do these thing then we are not uh, obeying our school uh, rules so and we should not push push each other uh, suppose that you uh, you you push somebody then the somebody uh, fall in the ground and uh, that and that kid get uh, get injured so we should not push or fight in our school assembly and we and always try to maintain rules regu rules and regulation try to speak in good way always listen the things uh, which happen uh, always listen all the prayer which happens and our assembly and always try to understand the meaning of our uh, and always try to understand meaning uh, meaning of prayer like there is a prayer itni shakti hame dena data then we have to understand what is meaning of this prayer uh, why prayers happen prayers happen because we learn new new uh, because uh, that we can understand the moral values understand the meaning of that uh, prayers so we should always uh, understand the meaning of prayer not just like that uh, okay we have a speak we have a spoken uh, the prayer and we have learned no that's not uh, no that is not a correct way we have to we also have to understand that meaning if we will understand then we, we, we will have uh, moral values we will have uh, we will have moral values we will know about our nations and these all things so that's all thank you so uh, madhiha fantastic you are in class you, 5 going to class 6 but the way you have spoken is just wonderful with full confidence you have uh, put across various ways by which we can develop our school assembly and i'm sure that these points are going to be uh, in front of school management and they are going to do some changes in their school assembly to make it the best one now shifting to our second speaker that is navya navya you have to choose one number 
sir i will choose number 1 number 1 so 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 okay so first i will see one minute this is number 1 what uh, madiha has taken is number 3 okay so number 1 number 1 is okay okay a simple one for you why is the this is matching with our the current the the number which i have given you why is the school assembly important for us this number is same okay very easy and very uh, you can say important also think for one minute and then you can speak for five uh, four minutes sorry okay sir sir now can i speak yes navya please start go ahead so hello this is navya from class 3 from visa to school of innovation and today i am going to tell you about why is the school assembly important for us so let's start the school assembly is very important for us because we learn many good things in it like we learn good manners and stories prayers national anthem etc we sing national anthem in our school assembly um, because this is sing this is written by rabin nath tagore and we sing it in our school assembly it has a rule to over it into only in 50 Two seconds, and we have to stand straight and don't move our all our body, any body part in national anthem. We learn good manners in it, like don't push each other, do not push uh, each other on the stairs, and uh, do not uh, bring uh, do not bring sharp things like knife scissors etc in schools and uh, we also learn that safety rules on the road that do not uh, play on the road do not run on the road always use foot path to walk etc this school assembly is very important because if there will no school assembly then we can not learn prayer and we will not know that what is a prayer we learn very various prayers in our school assembly and very interesting stories in our school assembly A school assembly is very important in our school we learn uh, very interesting 
we also do interesting games in school assembly and uh, we also do we also do very fun in our school assembly we uh, we have to stand very nicely very strictly in our school assembly if we will don't stand very nicely and strictly in our school assembly it will not a good manner and we always learn good manners and if you will just stand uh, stand not straightly and uh, moving here and there in assembly this will not a good manner so you should always we stand and don't move here and there in the between of assembly do not talk or push each other in the assembly this is not a good man this is also not a good manner do not eat or do not throw anything uh, do not eat in the assembly do, uh, do not throw anything around our assembly always concentrate on your prayer what you are doing on or what is happening in the assembly if you don't concentrate then your mind will your mind will move here and there and you cannot learn stories interesting stories uh, prayers you will miss these things and when uh, you will when you will come to speak then you cannot learn and then what you will do so always concentrate in your assembly always be punctual in assembly do not go here and there during assembly concentrate on your assembly very much because if you will miss assembly then think you will miss your class also because if we, we do prayer in our assembly and if we will don't do prayer in our assembly our mind will move here and there and our mind will don't concentrate on on our uh, what we are doing in our class what we are doing in our class do not push each other in the assembly and do not be late in the assembly do not miss assembly be very 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 punctual in assembly that's all thank you thank you navya you are going to be in class 4 now na class 3 is going to get over and yes you speak so well and the main point of your speech was that if you want to have good knowledge in your classes you have to be punctual and praying to god in the assembly if you are punctual and you have prayed to your god then automatically your all classes it's going to be wonderful and whatever teachers are going to teach you will learn it in a very nice way right so we have to concentrate in the school assembly thank you very much for your wonderful speech and now i'm moving to our third speaker and she is sanvi sanvi please give me the number i will choose two okay so after 1 and 3 sanvi has chosen number 2 and number 2 is why do we pray to god before going in our classroom hum classroom mein jaane se pehle assembly mein bhagwan ki prarthna kyun karte hain you have to elaborate this uh, topic you can think for one minute and they can, then you can speak for four minutes okay. God wants us very intelligent, so we should not plan. 
Can I speak? Uh, yes, and we can start now. We pray to God after, before stud, studying in classroom because God's, God keeps our mind concentrated in study. Our mind moves here and there so we cannot study in our classroom. Study makes a good person. God makes us study and study makes us a good person. God makes us intelligent in studying. God. And the Lakshmi goddess is all, and the Saraswati goddess is also the goddess of study. This god, this goddess, Swati goddess, makes us study and keep our mind fresh. Cool. Prayer makes our mind fresh and cool. Makes us happy, feeling it fresh our body for whole day and study also. In prayer, we don't move here and there. If we move here and there, God is Swati do not give us, uh, make us study. We should stand straight in the assembly. We should no, uh, do not go here and there. Do not lose our any body parts. So we study clearly. And I also pray to Goddess Swastati Ji to, to give my, my mind fresh and cool. And I'm also intelligent in study. Goddess Swastati Ji makes us make intelligent and study. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sanvi. We pray to our God and Goddess just to uh, keep ourselves calm and focused so that when after a school assembly, we go to class, we concentrate well and we gain what our teacher they teaches us, right? So thank you very much for explaining the importance of prayer, why we pray to God. Now I'm coming to our uh, fourth speaker. And she is Yusra. Yusra, you are in which class? Third class. Okay, you are in class two. Okay, so Yusra, what is your number? One, Sir, two, three. number four. Number four, okay. So she has chosen 
number four. And let me see what is there in number four. So in our school assembly, we have so many things. We have prayer, we have national anthem. Sometimes there is also somebody reading news, somebody telling us nice quotations. So there are a variety of things in the school assembly. You have to elaborate what happens in the assembly and tell us which one is the best part of the school assembly as per you. And also give us the reason why that is the best. Can I speak? Yes, uh, Yusra, please start. Good morning, good evening, all of you. I am Yusra, and today I am going to tell you favorite part of place. My fa my favorite part of of school assembly, assembly hmm. is. A school assembly is written by Ravindranath Tiger. It's over in 15 seconds. We stand straight when we are singing national anthem. It is, it is, it is national. It is National Patriotic Song. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Yusra. National Anthem is a, is a very important part of our school assembly. And we sing it on a daily basis. Right? And it always gives us immense uh, strength and power when we sing our National Anthem. So that was wonderful. We started with uh, Madiha. She told us about, and I think, okay, our, oh, sorry. Our fifth speaker also has come, Sanskar. Sanskar, are you there? Hello, Sanskar. Are you there? Can you listen to us? Sanskar, good evening. Are you able to participate? Then we will go for the uh, fifth speaker. Otherwise, we will wind up. No. Okay. Sanskar is unable to uh, listen and unable to speak. Some problem with camera and all. So no problem. We will we will wind up and we will discuss what we have uh, got from our speakers. So first, uh, Madiha told us how we can make our school assembly better. She has given us a lot of points following which we can make our assembly better. Then uh, Navya came and Navya told us about the importance of school assembly, why it is important, why we should focus in the 
the school assembly, why we should pray, why we should stand in the line with full discipline and everything. Then we got our third speaker. She was Sanvi, and Sanvi told us about. Oh, I'm thinking. Think, huh? Why is the school assembly important for us? And finally, Yusra has told us about the best part of school assembly, that is national anthem. Fine. So today we discussed different aspects of the school assembly, which we face every day in the morning, and which gives us a, a good energy by which we continue our journey in the school and we feel fresh throughout the day. Thank you very much all the participants for being with us and for presenting nice thoughts in, uh, on this platform. We are going to meet again on next Saturday on 20th of March at 6 p.m. I'm sorry for uh, being a bit late today because I was traveling and I was unable to uh, reach at uh, 6 p.m. Now, uh, Sanskar, you can speak only with your camera on. With camera off, you can't speak. You have raised your hand, but uh, with, uh, with camera off, you can't speak. Okay, so next time you uh, fix your camera and then you can speak. Thank you very much, uh, all participants. Take care, bye-bye and good night. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Good night.